life changing. Every day is life changing. I love that. I love that. I'm happy to see all your smiling faces out here today. Thank you for coming. It's a great day for business Atlanta. You know, we've been talking about time management. Time management. You know, what is it that we do in our time? And in my last talk, I talked about how do you know what you should be doing if you don't know what you have been doing? Who keeps track of their time? Who knows how effective they have been with the use of their time? I keep track. I see where I've been effective. I see what's been a waste. And I recommended in my last talk about for a week, keep track of your time from when you wake up in the morning to when you go to bed. Every little thing that you do, what did you do? If you jumped on Facebook for 10 minutes, put it in there. If you read the paper for 20, put it in there. If you didn't do anything, put it in there. If you had client conversations, put it in there. Keep track of the time. That'll give you an indication of how successful you have been with your time management, what you need to weed out, and what you can do more of, what has been successful to lead you to even further success, and what you just need to get rid of. But you know, there's also personal time management. You know, we talk about business succeeding, but I think a lot of what we do comes around full circle. We need to be healthy. We need to find the time in the day for us, for us. You know, we're inundated every day with text messages, emails, TV, phone, driving all over, being in meetings, listening to a cacophony of sounds that really take away from us. But if we're not at our best peak performance, how can we achieve the success that we were all meant to have. So we have to carve out time for ourselves. We really do. And there are three points I want to talk about. Do you find time every day for reflection? Do you find time, that 10 minutes of time? Have you ever gone home and you sat down, you were going to ready to do something and it was quiet and you just stopped and you went, Wow, this feels good. This is what I need right now. That refreshes, refreshes our mind, refreshes our soul, refreshes our spirit. We need that time to keep us healthy, to keep us moving forward on a track for success. Also, we need to educate ourselves every day. We need to grow our minds. We just can't stagnate. You know, we drive, how many people drive from meeting to meeting all over the Metro Atlanta area? An hour a day, some more. What a fantastic time to educate yourself. Most of the people while you're driving along, you will see doing this. They're on their phone. Why not put a CD in? Why not put something motivational in? Why not put something in that you can learn from? An hour a day, 365 days a year, that's a lot of hours. That's a lot of hours and a lot of time to educate ourselves to get better at what we do. Because the more education we have, the more confidence we have. The better we are to serve our clients. And the last thing I want to talk about, well, the last thing I want to talk about is exercising your body. Your body, getting out there, doing something every day. You know, I have to, I, 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 I carve out a minimum of 30 minutes every day, a minimum. We're all busy, we are all in meetings, we're all struggling to try to find the time to, for personal, for business. We're all trying to find that time, but we also have to find the time for us. And Physical exercise is extremely important. You know, within five minutes of just going for a walk, you will start to feel the weight of the world come off your shoulders. The blood will start circulating through your body. Your mind will start to, to feel it. You will feel better. Those are three things that we have to take care of. 
in order for everything to work. Because, you know, balance is important. Balance is difficult. I've been going through the past month and a half doing seminars, doing speaking engagements. I've been all over trying to find the time to do everything I should be doing. But trying to find that balance is hard. And it's important to make time for yourself. Because you're the one who's in charge. You're the one who's putting out there the information that you want to talk to your clients, to your friends, to the people you know, and you want to be successful in all components of your life. Well, if you're not healthy and you don't have that balance, it's going to be very difficult. It's going to be very difficult. It's a direct result of what we do. And what we do in life is a direct result of what we think. And what we think in life is a direct result of what we believe and what we believe in life is a direct result of how we feel. And how we feel in life is a direct result of how we succeed in life. It comes full circle. It comes full circle. So what does this have to do with time management today? Right? And what, what we do after we've met someone. What's the follow through? What's the theme of the show? The, the money is in the follow through. Well, we have to be healthy in mind, body, and spirit to succeed in our business and our personal lives. So what do I do and how do I succeed when I talk to individuals? What is my follow through? Well, I'm just going to touch on it briefly. You know, it's great to have a conversation with someone who may be a client, who may be a gate opener for you, someone who will lead you to business. But after that meeting, what do you do? What do you do? You know, I like, to, I like to do a personal, get to know that person personally. Find out something that we may have in common. I think we all do that. Maybe a little fact finding, just enough to get information that will lead me to my next step, which is an email. Right? My email. It's the next step. Hey, it was great meeting you. And you know, you said something that intrigued me. Can you tell me a little bit about this? What have I just done? Creating a conversation. Creating a conversation. If they answer back, that's fine. And if they don't, guess what happens? That's fine too. You know why? Because now that gives me the opportunity to call. You know, I sent you an email. I just wanted to make sure it didn't go to spam. Sometimes that happens. You know, it's about the touches that we do in life. The little pings. You know, once you get to know someone and you understand maybe some of the things that they do, some of their likes, their dislikes, maybe some of the things you have in common, what I'll do is I'll send an email if I find something of interest that I know that person likes. I'll send them an email. Hey, I saw this article. I thought maybe you'd be interested. Hope you're doing well. If they answer it, big deal. Doesn't matter. You're out. You are showing you have value. You're showing that you heard them so many times, people don't listen. They just hear. And then they go on speaking about themselves. It's important to listen. And by doing that and giving that information, people are going to hear that. I'll tell you, I work with clients. I've met people over a year ago. Mrs. Mayo. Met her over a year ago. And I was helping her with some issues. And every couple of months, give her the phone. Hey, Mrs. Mayo, how you doing? Just want to let you know I was thinking about you in any way I can help you. Didn't hear anything. A couple months later, so they might call it a tickle file. All those little, those people who you had a great conversation with, they had a need, but maybe they just didn't want to do anything then. It's okay. Put them in a tickle file. Every couple of months, you come out, let them know you're still there. And it's not pushy. You're not doing anything. You're just sending it out there. She contacted me two weeks ago after a year of speaking with her. Just because you are ready to do something does not mean the person you are talking to is ready. We're always ready. Anyone in sales is always ready to sell right there and then. And it doesn't mean anything to that person. They have to be ready. Well, lastly, I just want to talk about, you know, the obstacle, the only obstacle that you face every day is the person 
you look at in the mirror. That person is the person who's going to tell you how your day is going to be. That person is either going to lead you to success or it's going to lead you to failure. I say you look at that person and say, hey, we're going to win this one. We're going to move on. We're going to do great today because it is going to be a great day. It's a great day for business in Atlanta. And my name is Louis Agudo. Thank you for having me here today. I appreciate your time. All right.